सो हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू ब्लॉग टूडे वी हैव करिश्मा शी विल बी शेयरिंग अबाउट हर कैप इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एंड या यू कैन गो एट लाइक वी हैव थ्री क्वेश्चन प्रिपेयर फॉर यू योर इंट्रोडक्शन वॉट आर क्वेश्चन यू वेर आस्ट इन द कैप एंड द टिप्स एंड स्ट्रैटेजी स्पेसिफिकली फॉर कैप इंटरव्यू हेलो एवरीबाडी आई एम करिश्मा आई एम फ्रॉम डेली आई डिड माई बी टेक इन आई टी फ्राम मनीपाल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बिकॉज आई लव टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई वॉज ऑल्सो मार्क कप विनर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस इन स्कूल बट ओवर टाइम इन माई इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज आई वेंट ऑन टू ग्रेविटेड टूवर्ड्स द बिजनेस साइड ऑफ थिंग्स एंड आफ्टर वर्किंग फॉर टू ईयर टू ईयर्स इन अ मेडियस लैब्स एज एन इंजीनियर आई स्विच टू आई एम के बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू पर्स यू आई वॉन्टेड टू टेक अप प्रोडक्ट मैनेजमेंट आफ्टर माई ग्रेजुएशन and uh, besides this i am also the president of the toastmasters club here at imk uh, and i was also serving as the president of a medias mic drop toastmasters club uh, so that's it about me uh, so the most important pa- important part of your interview would be uh, the part where you tell about yourself so it's important that you have it well written and well prepared uh, have a very balanced about yourself where you tell about where you're from uh what you did in your graduation any pors that you held during your graduation and where you worked uh if you have work experience um and your basic interests and overall sense about why is it that you want to do an mba so karishma uh, the next question that i will ask is what are questions you faced in your cap interview hmm. and aapne kya answer kiya agar aap kuch bata sakte ho okay. so unlike my imk interview which were focused more towards my work ex uh the cap interview was more focused towards uh, general gk and current affairs and what's happening in the world around you so for me they asked me about trump's visit to india hmm. what the india america relationships uh, relationship is like uh, and then they went on to ask me what the came jo wall is this is where i stumbled because i could not recall at all okay. uh, but it's all right if you forget if you can't recall the answer to a question you can always ask clarifying questions and in the end even then if you can't answer something it's all right to say that you don't know the answer of something just don't do it too frequently mm-hmm. what the interviewer wants to test you on is of course your overall gk and then how well you carry yourself in an interview whether you let any nervousness show on your face or not mm-hmm. and how you connect with the interviewer after that uh, they asked me what my, what i'd like to do after my mba so through a lot of introspection i zeroed down on product management and i told them that uh, i'd like to get into product management after mba as well as my reasons why uh, so they went on to ask me some basics like what is product management what are some good companies that come here for product management uh, that requires you to research a bit about it and then one of the professors uh, went on to give me a small case let of okay. sorts uh he asked me to assume that you are a product manager working in a pharmaceutical company and there is some problem with your medicine with the product that the company has come out with uh how will you deal with that as a product manager so unfortunately i did not know a lot about the pharmaceutical industry but i did know the basics of uh, marketing and product management so i was able to frame my answer on the spot okay. and of course after i gave my answer he put in an element of ethical dilemma also uh and then i just tried to answer the best way i could in with an answer that was balanced with uh with both you know protecting the business as well as the ethical aspect of not letting a uh, bad pharma uh you know i- impact the people so when faced with ethical questions it's important to remember that you cannot go either a to ethical or to business like you need to strike the perfect balance sure. that because even in real life business scenarios uh, this might happen to you so they're testing you how well you could get out of a sticky situation and how well you could balance and round out all of your answers okay and uh, where where did you prepare your gdpr for cap uh so for cap uh so when you're preparing for all of your other gdpis uh, that will sufficiently cover your hmm. for cap as well sure. i was doing coaching at time i attended the time cat gdpi workshops uh, besides that i was reading two newspapers every day with a lot of focus on the editorials and uh, watching a lot of youtube videos of uh, you know people who post uh, detailed analysis of current affairs hmm. yeah. and the last tips or any strategy for people who have just got the cap calls uh, 
so it's important that you maximize this time well uh you need to use your time efficiently understand what your strengths and weaknesses are hmm. uh make sure that you have like a well rounded profile as well your cv will be a very component of your interview so make sure that your cv is well rounded with almost equal number of academic achievements uh pors extracurriculars co curriculars and hobbies etc and when you're uh, explaining things from your resume it's important that you focus on the impact of all the work that you've done so far in your life and otherwise to show that you are their uh, dream candidate and it's all about charming them in the interview and how well you form a connection and whether or not you're able to keep your cool throughout the interview <clears throat> okay so that's it for today's vlog so i hope this vlog will be very helpful for all the cap aspirants and uh, all the best to all the aspirants out there make sure you do convert your best call it's very important give your best this is the last phase before you get into a dream college mm. so yeah you can like share and subscribe my channel and all the best keep shining